I think, I mean, I th I'll let you step in, James, but I, I think it has to be both. Um, we, we can't, um, and I always, I'm always a proponent of, the, I, I want to listen to the people closer to the issue. <laughs> and um, we in Raleigh or in, you know, in Washington, D.C., there's a place for those, you know, for those decisions, those policy decisions to be made. But um, I can just, this isn't a partisan statement, I can just tell you I am in the distinct minority as someone who has actually been in classrooms and see how this stuff is actually going to get implemented. Um, most lawmakers, whether, whether they're on the left or the right, have no idea how this stuff gets implemented on the ground, and that's a big problem. Just kind of as a bystander, you know, because I'm not in a decision-making capacity, I probably have more influence now uh, as Teacher of the Year to, you know, be able to at least add some voice to the discussion. It, it, it can grow frustrating because I don't think they're exclusive. I don't think it's an either-or situation as much as it's a both-hand. Um, what can be said is uh, while there's a lot of discussion philosophically over whose responsibility it is and whose wheelhouse it falls under, in the interim, <laughs> right, there are children who are not receiving the benefits of us coming to a compromise and coming to an understanding of that. So um, a solution needs to be had, however it looks. Uh, and I'm sure both the you know localities and the state level have a role to play. And Eric is right, you know, North Carolina has constitutionally, you know, committed itself to providing a, a larger portion of money. Um, now, when it comes to shaking out to particular items, again, that can be a complicated science. But one thing's for sure, it needs to be a partnership. It can't be either or because while we're bickering and, you know, tossing uh, the ball back and forth, at the end of the day, it's young people day after day, year after year, who are either the uh, beneficiaries or who suffer, you know, the loss as a result of us not reaching a compromise.